I share my two bedroom apartment with my daughter, my son-in-law and my two grandchildren. Because of her family's tight living quarters in Sunnyvale, Nancy Rodriguez, an administrative assistant for the Mountain View Wisman School District, is moving her family to Hollister, where she can afford a house. But it puts her 60 miles away from work. Zoe Sharp and Natalie LaRosa are elementary school teachers in the same school district. They're also roommates, along with three other people who all share a rental house in Cupertino. Living with four other people, though it's fun. I think I'm outgrowing it. But at the moment, it's her only option. I don't think I could afford on my salary to live in a one bedroom. District Superintendent Allende Rudolph is trying to change that. This is the first time that a school district's partnered with a developer to build housing. A developer already bought this apartment complex around the corner from the school district office, which will be torn down and rebuilt. Rudolph is proposing the district lease 144 units of affordable housing in the complex for school teachers and employees. According to the city of Mountain View in 2018, the the average rent for a one bedroom here was $2,500 a month. At the proposed school district apartments, a one bedroom would cost a teacher with a starting salary of $64,000 a year, about $1,500. That's a $1,000 savings per month. I'm excited about it because it creates a solution uh, that can be replicated across the state, but really it creates a solution that retains teachers for our community to make sure that we have top-notch schools. The school board will vote to approve the project on Thursday.